That's what I'm asking. I'm on my radio. My telephone. Your telephone, not your radio. Okay, so you're on your telephone. Okay. And that's big enough for you to um, for you to maneuver with your hands. You've got big hands like me. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. okay. And then you read on that. Yeah, then, I okay. hold it with one hand and, you but know, it's easy. Have... Yeah, it's easier for the iPad, right? When you have the iPad, it's bigger. Uh, a little bit, but I don't really. The, the, I, the phone is great. All right. Well, I'll see, I'll see you in action, right? See how you, you. I mean, yeah, it's stimulating, you know, to read articles. It's it's you know that's the one good thing, and it saves on on killing trees, and I think it's a wonderful thing, right? But no, I was just curious because I thought it was more easily maneuverable for you to use your iPad. But if you're if you're comfortable using your iPhone, that's that's great. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah I prefer you know the. The phone is great because I, is it, yeah, I can hold it in one hand. And so that that might be it. Else. That might be why we didn't communicate. Maybe because the settings on your iPad didn't allow for communication. Right, like didn't allow. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Lynn, Lynn took it. Right. She took it back with her. Okay. And she took down the app for. And I'm not sure, you know. Right. You know, everything related to Apple is 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 uh, they they take it. So this is this is Android. And oh, this Android is an Android stuff, one. So. Okay. Right. Yeah. I still. I mean, I was talking to engineers, and they're saying that um, that uh, you know, Apple is still the best, and and even these engineers that work for Samsung. They're all awaiting the new technology from Apple. So I guess the world still thinks Apple is the best technological provider. Well, uh, yeah, but they're a pain in the ass. <laughs> right, right. You know, you gotta go right, right. You know. Yeah, well, for, for security, but yeah, I mean, at some point it gets ridiculous. I agree with you. I mean, I'm not, I don't have any, you know, any thought about it. Privacy, you know. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Right. No, that's what I I agree. I just I just sent you uh, my la my morning typing of, of mom Carrie, your sister, about her paranoia, and she and you remember Aunt Lydia, your great Aunt Lydia. Right. I never you, met she, her. Well, she was your aunt and your cousin, I think. Right. I mean, that's right. From Italy, she married Billy. Uh, she married your uncle Billy, and they were cousins. Lydia. Oh, Lydia. Yes. So Carrie and her, okay. kind of, yeah, Carrie and her became friends eventually because they were living in Florida. I should remember to include this in the book because Rini hated Lydia for whatever, thinking that she stole a bunch of money, whatever, you know, Rini, your mom. So, but Lydia and Carrie both had that like. You know, I was trying to take pictures of them and videos with my phone. And they were just so, like, angry. They both got angry at me. Typical Italian women. And I'm like, look, ladies. And I'm pointing at the restaurant. I go, that's a CCTV camera. That's, a, you know, like, like, what are they on about? Like, it made no sense that they were getting so angry. Like, I don't want to be filmed. And, like, I'm like, we're on film constantly. For the last 20, 30 years, right? Like, I mean, with C with CCTV cameras and every everywhere. I mean, the minute I walk into your hospital, JB, right? They're going to track me from the door all the way to your room on CCTV camera, right? I mean, it's like you can't live, you know, it's so difficult. So I'm like, I don't understand why people are so paranoid about it. Because the minute you walk out of your house, pretty much anywhere in the world now, for the most part, a, a camera is going to catch yeah. you doing something, right? So it's like people just get yeah. so paranoid about it. Yeah. Um, I've got loads of questions. I'm going to try to to write them all down when I see you. Um, yeah, just about everything. Just about life and yeah. The big one before, you know, I got to be online here, JB. Um, 
What what kind of what if you have to give any recommendation, a life recommendation to the younger, to this millennial or this what is it the Z gen, whatever millennial generation, what advice would you now? You knowing what you know now, right, and where technology is going and everything, what would you give? What advice would you give to someone who is eighteen years old? Well, it's hard for me to do because things have changed. Right. You know, you have uh, you have you have uh, a biceps, PCs, you got Wi Fi. So really, the whole thing is it's a different different is a different dance. Yeah. You know, what you can use and not. So, and I wish I had it now because it's a much more, much more process, process than we right. used to use. Now, do you, you know, I think you know me, I'm a generally more uh, glass is half full, more optimistic person than pessimistic. Uh, but what's your opinion about artificial intelligence and where we're going? Do you think it's going to replace more and more human labor? Like, are we, are we scared that more humans are going to be out of work and out of making money? Or what's your, what's your opinion on all of this? Um, it'd probably be, if, you know, good and bad, you know. Uh, I'm not worried about it. First, well, you're not worried. You're not worried about it. <laughs> I mean, what do you... How about an eight, an eighteen, an eight? How about an eighteen-year-old coming up? I mean, are they going to be able to do any type of work? Is our jobs going to be around, or are machines going to do everything for us? Well, like I said, it'll, it's kind of over the over the horizon, so I can't tell, and most people can't, you know. Right. I, th I think we're going to, I, I wrote the, uh, that piece on LinkedIn. I think we need to rethink the value of money or what is money because machines are going to just start replacing labor and work. It would be good to do that, you know, uh, but that's all you can do, you know. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I love you. I'll let you eat, and then uh, I'll try to I'll try to ring you maybe back tomorrow, same time. Okay. Great. All right. I love you, buddy. This time, this time next week, I'll be in Chicago. Th today, this time next week, though, I need to get that visa clearance letter, right? And down right by your old high school, at the headquarters, I need to get a, apostolized at the the state the state office in Chicago and then I'm and then I'm done. You know, that's really much the only errand. I would like to have a little money to open up a new bank account. Um, so I'd like to try to do that at Chase or something. So I'm going to try to do that to where I don't need an address. So that's the problem because they, they want to mail you your card. I don't have an address. You know, I'm just visiting. So anyway, I'll sort it. I'll figure it out. All right. I love you, man. I'll give you I'll try to give me a ring tomorrow. Okay, great. All right. Bye, JB. Have a good night. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. All right. I love you, man. All right. Bye-bye. Take care.